Hey everybody, this is Kwa. Um, this is part of my ongoing series uh, for scratch building a Walker Tally 500 with your own parts and fly controller and motors and ASCs, etc. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the, um, the power distribution board. Um, now, the Tally does come with a power distribution board, and I recommend that you use it. You don't have to. I mean, there's different ways in which you can do this, but I recommend that you do get this because it's actually a pretty good piece of hardware. Um, a couple things about it which I think make it, um, you know, good to use is one, is it's bolted onto the um, the the bottom half of the frame itself. Um, this is really self-explanatory. I mean, there's holes. Um, here, 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 and here, where you just basically screw it onto the bottom. Um, so it and it fits perfectly. Um, it adds a little bit of structural rigidity to the frame because once you um, bolt on this power distribution board, uh, there's there's a little bit less flexing. I notice it's not a huge factor, but it is something that helps. A little bit of uh, of of rigidity. Uh, helps, and then also the one of the most important factors that you'll need to consider is that if you want to use the Walker Tally battery um, that comes with this, and the thing about the battery is that it is in is is in an enclosure, and I'll talk about the battery in another video because um, you don't have to use the battery that comes with it. You can actually buy the enclosure separately and put in your own battery, which I'm doing for this build. Um, the stock Walker battery is 6S, and um, I don't really think that this size um, craft needs a 6S battery. Uh, I think that's way overkill. Uh, so I'm, I'm downgrading it, so to speak, to a 4S battery. Uh, so I'm actually going to use the guts of the battery, and but the, the electronic guts, and then replace the battery with a 4S one, okay? Uh, but it's for another video, uh, and I'll explain how you can do that. But basically, you'll see here these two um, these two leads, and uh, that connects to the battery, okay? And that's only if you, you know, so you slide it in, and, uh, and it clicks in. But that's only if you use the power distribution board that's on the tally or that comes with the tally. Um, if you're, you know, of course you can rig up your own um, connection by just soldering basically a um, uh, XPC or a uh, or a T connection or whatever connection battery connection you want to use here, and then connect to the battery. But um, if you want to use the cool uh, battery with its cover and that you know fits the tally then then basically um, you should have the power distribution power distribution board a um, couple things that um, you should be aware of too is that the distribution board it co itself comes with a couple of, uh, of connectors okay and this is one of them and I measured the voltage and it's about five volts, um, and I would say about because I didn't really have a, a, a very good voltage uh, meter. I used a cheaper one, but I, it, it, this is about five volts. And so my, this is probably good, and this is what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it to power my receiver, okay? Um, and, you know, and actually you can solder additional um, lines or connectors to this to these points and you can get additional 5 uh, volt uh, connectors if you want to do that okay so this comes with the the uh, power distribution board and it's uh, it, it outputs about 5 volts and then it also comes with um, this uh, JST connector and it outputs um, 12 volts so basically you know you this is good for you want to uh, you want to power your gimbals. You also maybe want to power a um, a uh, OSD or camera. Uh, this is you can do that here. And also there are two 
uh, additional connectors uh, that come from the power distribution board and it actually is here. So uh, let me see if I can get to it. Oh, not this one. Um, yeah, this is it. So let me see if it can focus. So basically, these you can use JST connectors on these, and they output uh, 12 volts. So there's, so there's three, um, three 12 volt uh, connectors, you know, with this power distribution board. And so, um, for these, and it also has um, places where you can solder on your ESL leads. Okay, so there's six of them. Okay, there's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and each these um, these connectors are not regulated. So what that means is that they will output whatever voltage your battery outputs. I measured this. Um, so if you have a 6S battery, then it's going to output you know at least 22 volts, and a 3S battery will, will output at least 11.5 volts, so, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these connectors right here. Um, they output the battery voltage as well. They're not regulated either. So in total, you have a bunch of outputs. Um, two of them that I am aware of are regulated. So uh, those are some points that uh, you might want to keep in mind if you want to get this uh, power distribution board, which I recommend that you do. And plus, it's a nice place to uh, to mount your flight controller. So here, you, there you have it. So. Um, I hope this uh, explains a little bit about the Walker Tally power distribution board and why you should get it. And again, this is my ongoing video series on how to scratch build one. And you see right here that I've already got my APM 2.7 mounted already. Uh, and I'm just waiting for a bunch of ESCs and motors to get here to finish this build. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.